Hi, I'm Edwin Siebesma, founder of Meeting King. In this video, I will show you the basics of Meeting King. We will look at the dashboard, see how to create a meeting and set an agenda, how to make notes and assign tasks, how easy it is to send minutes, and how to manage tasks in Meeting King. Okay, let's go to the app. When you log in, you'll land on a quick overview in my dashboard. This page gives you, the name says it, a quick overview of what's going on. There are three sections. The first section shows you my recent and upcoming meetings. It will show you the meetings you had in the last two days, so you can quickly go back to look up something or add a comment. And it shows the meetings that are coming up in the next five days. Next, you'll see the tasks that you have to do. It will display all overdue tasks and the tasks that are coming up in the next five days. The last section shows a list of tasks that others have to do for you. Again, using the same criteria. In this, at the moment, I do not have any tasks that others have to do for me. All right, let's create a new meeting. Just click the plus sign here. We will continue for now in Meeting King, and we give the meeting a title, Management Meeting. I will invite a few people, and then I have the option to meet now, which will automatically add the current date and time, or I can select a time uh, to schedule a meeting in the future, or to make some minutes for a meeting that I had in the past. Okay, we'll do it today. Uh, the future is not too far away. Um, we'll do it at 8.45. And then I can add Skype information, uh, dial-in information, location, or other notes uh, as well. All this information can also automatically be copied out of a meeting request that you created in Outlook, Google Calendar, or iCal. But I'll show that in a different video. Okay, let's continue to the topics. This area is the core of your meeting. This is where you create the agenda and where you make the notes. So to create your agenda, you simply add a topic title, topic one, topic two. You can also give each topic a presenter uh, and a lot a certain amount of time for a topic. Now, if you have a meeting with a certain fixed structure, like a weekly management meeting, a quarterly board meeting, a rotary meeting, you can load a template. And you have a choice of standard meeting templates, or you can create your own. So, as you can see, now I added four more topics to my agenda. You can collapse all the topics, you can expand them, you can do it on an individual basis, and you can delete topics, or you can move topics to a different place in your agenda. Now, once you're happy with your agenda, you can email the agenda to all participants, you can add additional uh, recipients and you can add a personal note. You can also print the agenda uh, if you prefer to bring a paper agenda to the meeting and as you can see you have some space to make, quickly make some notes during the meeting. Now let's assume we have the meeting and I'll do a little trick here to uh, create the meeting in the past, so you'll see that now it says email agenda and print agenda because the time was in the future. Um, now that the time is in the past, it says email minutes and print minutes. So to make notes during your meeting and assign tasks, you quickly type a note and save it as a note decision or a task. So the sales of the new uh, widget are doing well. And I will save that as a note. We, oh, we need a larger widget. 
And you see, I don't have to move the mouse. I can keep my hands on the keyboard with the tab key. I can go to those buttons, um, design a larger. It also has a spell checker widget. Um, save it as a task. I will give this task to James, and it is due next Tuesday. So when I click the Save button, what it does, it email the task to James. It will add the task to James, his dashboard, as a task that he has to do. And it will add the task to my dashboard as a task that someone else has to do for me. Here it is. And you see it also links automatically back to the meeting where it was created. So let's make another note or another task, task two. I'll give that task to Wilma. And All right, so once I'm happy with my notes, I can uh, simply click Email Minutes, and all these recipients, and maybe some other recipients that you add here, will receive a professional-looking email uh, <coughs> meeting minutes document. You can also print it. And this is how it looks. And as you see, here I have the information that I entered <coughs> when I created the meeting. But if you copy it automatically out of your meeting request from Outlook or Google Calendar, you never even have to type this information. These items are created when I created the agenda. So I did not retype that. I did not type in the complete name of James. I didn't type in the date. Um, and I did not type this uh, task summary. So when you compare this with making agendas and minutes in Word, um, it's not only more efficient time-wise, but you're also actually creating active or actionable information as opposed to dead information. When you create something in a, a Word document, the chances are that it will disappear on the server. You will not receive reminders. And you cannot link and combine information from different meetings. In the next video, I'll show you how to combine information from different meetings, the power of follow-up meetings, so that nothing will fall through the cracks. Well, let's wrap up this video by taking another look at the dashboard. So there are a few more tabs. In the All Meetings tab, I can quickly find any meeting that I created or where I was invited. I mean, how often did you ask yourself, we discussed this before, but what did we decide? And you cannot find those notes. Well, by using these filters, it is very easy to find anything that you ever discussed in the past. In the All Tasks tab, I have similar filters. And I can quickly find anything related to a certain project, a department, or my owner. Um, tags make this feature really powerful and turn Meeting King into an accounting system for all your discussions and tasks. But again, that is something that I will show in the next video. I hope this was helpful to get you started. And thank you for staying with me till the end. Please contact me if you have any questions.